everybody, it's Betsy from Hallmark Happenings, and I'm so excited because today we're going to venture outside of the world of made-for-TV movies to discuss something that looks so, so sweet. It's a film called Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris. Just the title alone makes me so happy, and I'm very excited to get to preview this movie for you all. Before we get to the preview, be sure you are subscribed to this channel so you don't miss out on any of the interviews, previews, recaps, or rankings. I would just love if you would subscribe, and now let's get to the preview. Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris will be in theaters Friday, July 15th, 2022. Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris is a historical comedy drama. It's actually based on a book of the same name written by Paul Gallico. And this is not the first adaptation of the book into a movie. Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris was made into a movie in 1992. And it starred the wonderful Angela Lansbury of Murder, She Wrote fame. The current Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris is directed by Anthony Fabian and stars Leslie Manville in the title role of Mrs. Harris, as well as Isabel Huppert, Lambert Wilson, Alba Baptista, Lucas Bravo, Ellen Thompson, Jason Isaacs, and Rose Williams. And it's distributed by one of my absolute favorite studios, Focus Features. They make so many wonderful movies. According to the book, Mrs. Harris is a salt-of-the-earth London cleaner who cheerfully cleans the houses of the rich. One day, while tidying Lady Dawn's wardrobe, she comes across the most beautiful thing she has ever seen in her life, a Dior dress. In all the years of her drab and humble existence, she's never seen anything as magical as the dress before her, and she's never wanted anything so badly. Determined to make her dream come true, Mrs. Harris skimps and saves until one day, after three long, uncomplaining years, she finally has enough money to go to Paris. When she arrives at the house of Dior, Mrs. Harris has a little idea of how her life is about to be turned upside down and how many other lives she will transform forever. Always kind, always cheery, always winsome, the indomitable Mrs. Harris takes Paris by storm and learns one of life's greatest lessons along the way. So Mrs. Harris is played by Leslie Manville, who's an English actress and has been in so many amazing projects. You have probably seen her in Phantom Thread opposite Daniel Day-Lewis, as well as Ordinary Love, Mum, Another Year, and Let Him Go. And she has been nominated for an Academy Award, so she is incredibly talented. Her co-star Lucas Bravo is a French actor known for his role in Netflix's Emily in Paris, so I guess Lucas is headed back to Paris. Alba Baptista is a Portuguese actress and has done plenty of projects, including Warrior Nun, which I believe was on Netflix. And now she gets to travel back to the 50s in this fun film. Fans of Sanditon will, of course, recognize actress Rose Williams, who was also in the CW series Rain. And here she is in another period project getting to dress up. And finally, we have Jason Isaac who is incredibly recognizable as his role as Lucius Malfoy in the Harry Potter series, Captain Hook and Peter Pan, plenty, plenty of projects. So he is back at it, having another successful movie, I'm sure. And it will be nice to see him in something a little bit lighter. So you definitely don't want to miss out on this movie. It looks positively gorgeous. Just the trailer with these beautiful dresses, of course, when you have a period project set in the 1950s, you know you're in for some beautiful, beautiful sets and costumes. Marvelous Mrs. Maisel fans can attest to how fun it is to see that attire. And I personally wish it would make a comeback. But if you're looking for some comedy, some lightness and sweetness and some amazing acting, Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris is definitely the movie for you. Don't forget to catch this. It begins airing in theaters July 15th. Thank you all so much for listening to Hallmark Happenings and to this preview. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.